Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you this process that I've been calling reverse lookup. Basically what it is, is a method that I use to track down Steam games and Steam Workshop items. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, what I've noticed in the past is when I've unsubbed from items in a Steam Workshop, usually they should get deleted with an update, but sometimes I end up with an orphaned process. Um, it also happens a lot when you've deleted a game, but you've not unsubbed from the Workshop items before or after, for whatever reason. Now, another reason you might want to dig around in the guts of your Steam folders is you may want to edit files, or you may need to make a change, or you might want to move them. So there's multiple reasons. Right, so let's crack on, start tracking some stuff down. So how do we go about doing that? First things first, come to Steam and select any one of your games, because we're going to be looking for the workshop folders. Right, so select your game, right click on it, manage, browse local files now we're not really interested in these files we just want to get to the steam apps path really quickly so click on steam apps and then click on the workshop folder and then click on content okay so we see all of this gibberish all of these numbers well what are these these are actually game ids so they're associated to all the games you've got installed on your hard drive so you know each one of these that you're seeing highlighted is represented here Okay, so that's the game ID, and then where the workshop items are, there you've just got to drill down. In fact, they'll be here. So these are all workshop items. Right, so how do we associate the games to these numbers? Well, I like to use the following tool, and that is SteamDB. So let me bring it up, sort of web browser. Don't worry about the link. I'll stick that in the comment section down below for you if you don't know it already. But what we're going to do is put the ID in here. So let's just bring that up again. Where is that folder? find it there we go cool right so we're going to put in this one here which is what we'll just do the first one 107 410 so 107 410 okay hit return and there we go it says armor which is good to know and likewise you can put any of the others in and it will give you the steam well the steam game for it okay right so now we know this is armor We'll drill down, because now we want to know what all these mods are, because that's a, that's a lot of mods. Okay, what do you do next? Well, I'm going to go back into Steam, okay, and then what I'll do is any I'll grab any one of these files that has a Steam Workshop going for it. There we go. Because I want to get the specific URL that I'm going to need. So, this is what I'm after. Let me just select any item, okay, and then I'm going to do right-click copy page url okay go back to my browser open up another page paste it in there as you can see here is that particular mods workshop id so i'm going to get rid of that okay because this is where i'm going to paste in oh let's get rid of steam i'm going to paste this in one of these in let's just throw it in there in fact, we'll just resize this up a little bit. Okay, cool. So these are quite... Well, I'm not going to type those in. I'll do the same trick as usual. I'll do a right click. I'll do a rename. And then I'll just copy it. Okay. Now, I'll put it right here at the end. Okay. Press return. And boom. It tells me exactly which mod is installed. I'm free to choose whether I delete it, move it, keep it, whatever, or try and edit it. You know, at least I know what is on my hard drive. So anyway, guys, that's all there is to tracking and tracing sort of lost workshop items on your PC. I hope you found that useful. Stick around for another video. But until next time, my friends, this is Hipkel signing off.